one of the great things I am worried about as a defender of Israel my whole life is that support for Israel is not as strong as it once was. We see it on the far left, we see it on the far right. And we need to speak out strongly against both. I don't know if you just read, there'll be a Republican candidate in Illinois who's a Holocaust denier. We need our voices to speak out very, very strongly on that. As what's happening in countries like Poland and Hungary, where anti-Semitism is on the rise, as it is here. And so we have to speak out very strongly. Well, one of the things, and, and, and if, if support for Israel among the younger generation fades, we have big trouble, big trouble. The young people don't know. I, I tell them when I speak to them, and I make an effort to do this, that in 1967, I would walk around the halls of Madison High School where I was attending that June of 67 with a transistor radio attached to my ear. They say, what's a transistor radio? <laughs> because it was the Six Day War and Israel could have been pushed into the sea. That's what we worried about. The very existence of the Jewish state, which we all fought so hard for, and which so many people gave their lives for, could have been gone. And Israel still faces these threats. Iran is a real threat to Israel. You probably all read what happened yesterday. And um, it's, it's, it's still there. But the young people don't realize it because Israel, through dint of its own hard work and perseverance and courage and intelligence, has made itself more secure. But that security could go away very quickly. That's very quickly. And so we have to alert the young people that Israel is still in danger. We also have to alert them that the Palestinian side does not really believe too many of them in a two-state solution. They don't believe there should be any Jewish state in the Middle East. That's the truth. And so the Taylor Force Law has real importance. Charlie's first question. Because most Americans don't know that when a Palestinian or someone else commits an act of terrorism, they are rewarded. They're not only called martyrs, and they're not only given parades. What an example for young children. What an example for young children that these people who kill innocent men, women, and children are made heroes. But they're given money. And their families are given money. And they build them a new house, encouraging others to commit these same dastardly acts of terrorism. So the Taylor Force Law says very simply, that we're not gonna give aid to the Palestinian Authority except some bare humanitarian aid, vaccination, and money for clean water, until this stops. It's long overdue, and it's about to pass in the House and the Senate. And I know you're behind it, and we have to make it happen, because it's so, so important. Um, the House version, which passed, and my guess is Every New Yorker voted for it. I don't, didn't look up the record, but it would have stuck up like a sore thumb if someone didn't, so I imagine everyone did. Um, um, anyway, the, it, and the House could pass this bill by unanimous consent. I've checked with every Democratic senator, as you know in the Senate, the House both admires this and despises it, that any senator can block any piece of legislation. Um, but not a single Democrat would block it. Not a single, single Democrat. There's some dispute among the Republicans of the wording of what kind of humanitarian aid to allow. Um, and so that's being worked out, but this will pass very, very soon. And as Minority Leader, I'm doing everything I can to pass it. Very important. And just a word on BDS, that's another thing that helps, you know, that invades against Israel on the campuses, we have to call it out for what it is. We're, past, we're, we're working on legislation uh, that would curb BDS as well in both the House and Senate. It hasn't passed either place yet. But BDS, as I've said repeatedly, is a modern version of anti-Semitism because they treat Israel to a different standard than any other nation. That's what anti-Semitism is. 
What is anti-Semitism? Well, in the old days, it was, you know, everyone could be a farmer, the Jew couldn't. Everyone could live in Moscow, the Jew couldn't. Double standard. There's a double standard today when many countries, including those pushing this BDS, have no human rights, torture people, no freedom of speech, and they condemn Israel as a state that doesn't have freedom. At the very minimum, they should be condemning both equally. In my book, they should be condemning these states that are trying to destroy Israel much more than Israel. But it's anti-Semitism, and we have to spread that word. Final question was housing. We have a death